How's everyone doing? Thanks for joining me on my small engine repair channel. Today's project is this Troy built uh, Vortex 420cc 30 inch cut uh, three stage snow blower. And uh, the problem the customer is having with it is the uh, chute control doesn't work back and forth. So uh, let's get into it, see if we can fix it up for them. All right guys, so uh, this machine was brought in to the shop with a uh, chute control that doesn't work. So as you can see, the uh, chute control, uh, the motor and the mechanism, everything seems to be working. It works uh, with the uh, tip. Uh, up and down, but it won't go left and right. Uh, the uh, little joystick here uh, does seem to work in both directions. When you do try and move it left and right, you can see that it does spin this bar. So the motor mechanism here, the joystick part of it here seems to be working. But uh, to me, it seems like there's something jammed up out and underneath this uh, this transfer case right here. So we're gonna get into this and uh, we're gonna see if we can't fix this. Okay, so this is a half inch bolt. So we got that half inch bolt out and up and underneath here, there is a wing nut, which we're also going to uh, loosen. And remove. All right, so then now this whole assembly comes up. Next thing we're gonna do is take out this cotter pin and remove that from the shaft. Okay, so All right, so first thing I do notice about this thing is uh, you take a look at this and it definitely has a piece that's broken off. And that piece goes right here and lines up with this uh, rod right there that has a cotter pin holding it. So that would hold this part of the assembly to this, this framework and that, that's doing nothing, okay? Now, what we're gonna have to do is try and get into this motor a little bit here because what's happening is, is uh, this rod is free to turn, okay, from this motor end. So the motor underneath here is not messed up. But to turn this chute, it looks like the chute part is fine. Let's take this off. I don't see any issues with the chute itself. So I don't see that as being any of our problem again it's got to be in this thing here I'm gonna take this over to the bench and uh, we're gonna take out all these screws take off this cover and see if we can figure out why this motor is uh, seized up all right so these are all five sixteenths So there's a good amount of lubrication on here. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Take a look here. Got bits and pieces missing here. So, oh, there you go. There's our problem right here. So this worm gear has got some teeth missing out of it. Okay, so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to buy this worm gear separately. 
Uh, hopefully they don't make us buy this whole assembly, although it would be nice to have this new cover, which I probably will replace uh, anyways. But uh, there's our problem. You can see this worm gear right lines up and spins the chute but if there's teeth missing off the worm gear it's not going to turn that that chute control so so that's our problem guys i'm gonna see if we can uh, order some parts for this thing and uh get this all fixed up for them all right guys for finding parts for these things you uh, would find a um some sort of a tag that has a model number and serial number just like on this machine it's on the belly pan and that's typical of snow blowers so you would take that model number and go to in this case www.troybuilt.ca or uh just type in troy built parts and uh, you go to the troy built website it's uh basically the same as an mtd website and uh, from there you could type in that model number and uh, you could go to i think it says manuals and you can download the parts manual for this machine and uh, i've already done so and i've now gone to the uh, shoot control area and as you can see this part we're looking for is that gear 28 and this cover 29 so what you're going to do then is you're going to come down here and under number 28 and 29 it'll give you a part number for the worm gear 9170519 and for the cover 7310529 alpha or a uh, so write those numbers down and then go to just type those in uh, You might be able to get them on Amazon or you can go to some other uh, third-party vendors or you could go right onto the Troy built website and order the parts directly from them uh, Or wherever you get your your parts from All right guys, it's been a couple weeks since I've uh, worked on this Troy built uh, three-stage snowblower I've been waiting parts waiting for parts uh, originally, I got uh, three of the four parts I needed uh, straight from the uh, TroyBuilt.ca uh, website. And uh, so this cover, part number uh, 7310-7529 Alpha. Then there's this uh, little nut here, uh, bearing. It's uh, 7410-44-53 Alpha. Then I got a... Uh, a gear here 9170497 alpha that's this gear here and then uh, I ordered this one from the same website uh, they didn't say anything about it being on back order they shipped these three parts in by themselves and don't tell me anything give me any indication that this was on back order so I called them and say hey you only sent me three out of four parts and they're like oh yeah by the way we can't get this part well that's uh, nice to know you didn't uh, put that on your website but uh, anyways i ordered it from ebay it took an extra week and a half or so to get here so so it might have been it might be three weeks by now and that uh, uh nylon gear is 9170519 okay so now i'm just going to uh i got my other one here it's got the busted pieces so i'm going to just uh, put this one together just like this one is and uh, we'll go ahead and put it back up on the machine all right so i got everything put back together here uh, i think we're all ready to try and uh, fit this back together first thing we need to do is to hook up this rod at least put it in where it goes and then try and line up the holes okay so to put this cotter pin in this second hole but to do that I got to be able to line up the holes from the rod and this this piece here so that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm doing I can't do that and film at the same time so put you down and I'll just put it on here first 
Okay, where are those holes? Where is that hole? There it is. this to line up all right there we go so now this should fit in here but then I gotta fit it on here as well all right that looks like it's gonna work Put my pin, lock this guy in place. Let's put it in from the other way. It's a little finicky that way. Snug, hand tight, and this guy's got to go all the way through. That should just about do it. Once I got this locked down. Okay, so I'm going to have to fire this thing up, test it out. I need to uh, warm up the oil anyways for an oil change, so... Let's get it fired up. Right, guys so there you have it uh, as you could see it probably you can notice it in the video there it kind of wobbles uh, and I think that's a byproduct of the fact that uh, the customer dropped this thing off the back of his truck and so there's something going on that's uh, been bent I don't know if this rods bent or if the handlebars are bent something was had gotten bent there and uh, it does wobble a little bit and uh, I don't think I'm going to go ahead and mess around with that too much because if I start bending stuff randomly, uh, it could make it worse. So I think we're going to leave it at that and uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, mess around with our gears too much that we just replaced. So anyways guys, hopefully this was informative. Uh, if you liked it, please uh, show me a little love and uh, hit the like button down below. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber and you like this kind of stuff, then uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and then you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video just like this. So uh, thanks again for watching guys and until our next project, take care.